Hello everyone, we are continuing our daily Bible reading. This week we are in Luke chapter 7, and there are lots of powerful stories that we're going to read about in Luke chapter 7. I want to begin in verse 1 where Jesus, or where the Bible says, when he had completed all his discourse in the hearing of the people, he went to Capernaum. And a centurion slave who was highly regarded by him was sick and about to die. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders asking him to come and save the life of his slave. When they came to Jesus, they earnestly implored him, saying, He is worthy for you to grant this to him, for he loves our nation, and it was he who built us our synagogue. Now Jesus started on his way with them, and when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself further, for I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. For this reason, I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man placed under authority with soldiers under me. I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. Now, when Jesus heard this, he marveled at him and turned and said to the crowd that was following him, I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such great faith. When those who had been sent returned to the house, returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. It's a powerful story. I've done a sermon on this before, but it's good to look back and consider the fact that this man made Jesus marvel. This man uh, made Jesus uh, marvel at his faith. And I think there's something powerful there for us that certainly we should be amazed at the teaching of Jesus and hopefully our faith will make Jesus marvel. And the fact that this man had such great faith that he believed in Jesus that all he had to do was just say the word and his servant would be healed. And there's something I think important for us there that this is the kind of faith that Jesus wants us to have. He wants us to have this complete trust in him. And certainly this centurion man had this kind of faith. So as you're reading this story this week, think about this man and think about your faith. And uh, think about the kind of faith that we have, whether or not we are truly trusting in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Look forward to talking to you again. Take care and God bless.